Okay, so um, this is my on how to create um, city lights in Blender for 9B, and um, yeah, so uh, this is a um, previous blend file for m for my other. I set it up in the composite node here. Anyway, the city lights different. We're going to a uh, ground texture, so all we need is the ground, not the ground. Feeling strange. This is the ground. So we got the ground. And now go. We need to go into edit. Mode. Got our iconosphere, which we made in the beginning, and we subsurfed it down. So this is the non-subsurfed version. What you want to get, what you're going to want to do, is not select half of it, and so you know, select one hemisphere and go into the UV image editor. Board. We've done this because it's better, but you have to click U and unwrap and U this and then you have to go to the other sphere so U and unwrap and then what you want to do is you want to go into the tab here up at the top where it says um, render or the render tab and you're going to want to this area where it says next to the animate where you select to do composite it was a bake and you're going to want to go down to shadow select that and then click bake Another thing you might want to do is select the AVI codec setting here and wait a minute, let me just refresh this and basically you're going to want to select codec XVID, XVID MPEG4 codec that's the best one I found and then select PC on the side here that will give you animation quality okay anyway you're going to want to go to once you click that bake button, um, it should um, appear this picture with these white lines and big circles, sort of half circles. These represent the shadows and light on your little thing. So that's useful. Okay, what I did is I went into a imaging editing program, um, GIMP to be more specific, and I blurred out the line. This will show the transaction between night and day so I blur it out and gimp you have to do the same thing it takes a while but you want to get it so it's nice and blurred anyway then what you want to do is you well, you name it you save it you, don't, well, you had to save it to go to the this but you don't have to save it to get it on blender because everything is packed in well not packed but like you have to do something else to pack it but anyway you go down to your stencil texture which we made before and you basically select it and there we go, it is, there it is go back to your material tabs um, select it all make sure it's all like this um, stencil negative no RGB just how it was before and what we want to do is this is one thing I didn't forgot to mention before but you want to go and you want to deselect the use alpha because that it doesn't work if you have that selected I found that out the hard way it just might want to know that so yeah basically we go here we got this all set up nicely emit add could have ref if we wanted that make it a bit brighter and um, one more thing I think this is more how we want it 0 0.05 0 0.15 rather 0 0.15 0 0.2 because a bit just a bit too um, dark before bit doesn't really make a difference either way it's just all the same anyway go back into not, tile window go could stay in the material tab don't particularly want physics and all that, but anyway, go here, F12 to render. There you go, you've got your city lights. They're quite nice. That's all how it is before, and select all of the layers. Where have these layers gone? 
Hmm, strange. Oh, right. No, that, that is strange. I don't know where they've gone. Perhaps I'm in object mode. That explains it. Not in object mode, rather. <sighs> Select all the layers with shift, holding control there. Just go render it out. And there we have it. Your own blender little nice thingy. Earth. With with everything. Next will be cloud shadows. <laughs>